Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural horror film, The Snake Woman. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In 2300 BC India, a man searches for the stone of immortality, held by the snake goddess of fertility. He kills the goddess lover, who is a male snake favored by the goddess, in order to summon the deity. However, the goddess is angry at the death of her lover. She kills the man, and hunts down his companion. Meanwhile, the companion runs out of the forest, and returns to his tribe. He tells them of the goddess wrath, and they panic. Women from the tribe suddenly have miscarriages, and their livestock run away. The tribe is soon slaughtered by the goddess. Fast forward to the present, four nasty men venture into the goddess jungle. The bald leader of the group, who prefers to be called Mr. Baldy, wakes up his henchmen. He has stage 3 brain cancer, and experiences frequent headaches. He is looking for the goddess lover to bait her out, attempting to take the stone of immortality from her to cure his cancer. The group exit their car in the middle of the jungle, and continue on foot. They arrive at the mating grounds, where they find two snakes together. Mr. Baldy orders one of his men to get the male snake, but the man refuses. Mr. Baldy stabs him in the mouth. His underling escapes, but Mr. Baldy cannot shoot him, as it might scare the snakes away. He forces the remaining goon to capture the male snake. Afraid of the goddess vengeance, the last man kills himself. Mr. Baldy taunts the snake in the cage. That night, the snake goddess transforms into her human form to hunt down the man, who kidnapped her lover. On the other side, a police detective watches as locals enjoy the town festival. He talks to his wife Maya, but she is busy crying in the bathroom. The blood on her hands reveals that she has had another miscarriage. Meanwhile, the goddess finishes transforming. She awakens and sheds her skin. She seals an alligator egg and eats it whole. When she finds a group of women playing in the river, she sneaks up and steals their clothes. In a dark basement, Mr. Baldi electrocutes the lover. The shock is also felt by the goddess through their connection. She climbs out of the river and heads to the town. During the festival, she starts dancing upon hearing a snake charmer's flute. Two nasty men see her, believing that she is high on drugs. So they bring her to a secluded house where they harass her. When she does not respond to their advances, the man starts slapping her. Outside, the snake charmer is frozen in fear, as he realizes that she is the shape-shifting snake of legend. He runs his smelly ass away. Then the goddess reverts to her snake form. She bites one man on the head, and throws him against the wall while tripping the other with her tail. The second man is dragged back, and repeatedly bit. She then proceeds to eat the first man whole, not even sparing his smelly hormones. She spends the night in bed, waiting for her stomach to digest the man. Meanwhile, the detective is awakened by a nightmare about the snake woman. He looks outside the window, and sees his car flipped upside down, and spray painted on. Elsewhere, the goddess wanders outside, covered in only a blanket. She drops the blanket, and climbs a street lamp. She then clings to the light for warmth. She wakes up in the morning under a tree. A local calls the police, and informs them that there is a naked and abandoned woman in her yard. Later, the goddess is brought to the police station, where she continues to appear confused. The detective asks his wife to come to the station to help her. The goddess suddenly stands up, and looks at the bulletin board. She sees one of the men who captured her, and grabs the picture before passing out. Maya arrives later, and sees the goddess. Meanwhile, the detective is called to the crime scene, where the goddess killed her harassers. He finds the dead body and a weird-looking chunk of meat, belonging to the man that got swallowed whole. They bring the bodies to the lab, and start an autopsy. They find that the chunk is a strange mix of flesh, hair, genes, plastic, bone, and man's hormones. A phone suddenly rings from inside the clump. They decide to cut open the clump to retrieve the phone inside. While leaving, the detective meets his new partner. They will work on the same case. Meanwhile, Maya buys the goddess some new clothes. That night, Maya's mother prays to their goddess altar at home. She tells the goddess that she can sacrifice herself, as long as Maya gives birth to a child. In their bedroom, Maya kisses her husband as she wants to make a baby. But the detective is not in the hormone mood. He tells Maya about the victims from earlier. He tells her about the chunk of meat, that appears as if someone swallowed a whole body and spit it out. Maya gets angry and assumes that he is lying, because he does not want to have sex. In the night, a woman is getting raped by a man. The man's wife is on the lookout, and tells him to hurry up and have his fun. Fortunately, the woman's muffled screams wake up the goddess. The goddess attacks the man, and saves the woman. The next morning, Mr. Baldi's assistant calls in the snake charmer from earlier. The snake charmer tells Mr. Baldi that the goddess is in town. So he forces the snake charmer to electrocute the lover. The shock is felt by the goddess through their connection as well. The snake charmer runs away, fearing the goddess' revenge. Somewhere in the town, a man beats his wife. She hides inside the house, and locks out her husband. 
Loud noises and hissing are heard from outside, but they quickly stop. The children watch from inside, as the husband's body is dragged away. The next day, Mr. Baldy's assistant tells the henchman that Mr. Baldy has brain cancer and plans to use the Stone of Immortality to cure it. The henchmen are surprised that even Mr. Baldy believes in superstitions, but they dismiss it and go back to play cards. On the other side, the detective is called to the crime scene, where the abusive husband was killed. The coroner calls the detective and tells him that the wounds on the victims appear to be punctures made by a large head filled with snake venom. The detective discovers that the abusive husband was the jungle guide that escaped from Mr. Baldy earlier. The partner tells him that the children saw a large snake dragging the body last night. He tries to convince the detective that the killings are supernatural, but the detective tells him that his claims are ridiculous and accuses him of being high on drugs. Meanwhile, the goddess wakes up on the grass beside a river. She swims into the river and emerges at a nearby temple. The monks there are her devotees and pray to her. She blesses them and later sheds her skin. A blind woman sings prayer songs. Her maid enters the room and sees something terrifying. Shortly after, the detective and the partner arrive at the house. They find the dead bodies of the man who raped the girl and his wife who was on the lookout earlier. They find the same puncture wounds as the other victims. The detective calls Maya to ask her if she is okay. He then asks her about the woman from the police station. Maya tells him that she disappeared last night and no one knows where she is. Maya's mother shows her the news broadcast of the detective and his partner. Apparently, the crime scene is where Maya goes to work. The next morning, Maya's mother watches a show about the goddess. She hears that the goddess can be baited by capturing her lover. The abusive husband's wife and children are also interviewed. A local tells the reporter that in the legends, the goddess will kill anyone who interrupts her search for her lover. The detective finishes showering and overhears the TV program. He leaves the house and starts accepting the truth behind the murders. Inside a cinema, the snake charmer watches a movie about the goddess and her shape-shifting powers. The goddess enters the cinema, causing the snake charmer to freak out and run away. Covered in black garb, the goddess chases after him into the market. The snake charmer runs into a vendor, but quickly gets back up and runs away. He enters the market and grabs a knife to protect himself from her. Coincidentally, the detective is also at the market. He sees the snake charmer holding a knife and notifies his partner before chasing him. The snake charmer trips and falls into a chicken carcass. He quickly gets up and runs his ass away with four limbs as the detective and the goddess continue chasing him. The partner arrives and joins the chase. However, the two policemen run into a pedestrian and lose sight of the snake charmer. Meanwhile, the goddess climbs up to the rooftop and searches for the snake charmer. She finds him and runs after him from the rooftops. She slides down a post and lands on the street. She continues chasing him through a washing area. The snake charmer runs out into the street in a panic, unaware that a car is about to pass. He gets hit by the car and dies shortly after. The detective and his partner arrive, but cannot save him. The detective sees the goddess and is finally convinced that she is behind the killings. He looks again, but she has vanished. That night, the detective invites his partner over for dinner. Maya's mother recognizes the partner from the news broadcast on the television earlier. After they eat, the detective sends his partner home, while Maya and her mother joke around in the kitchen. Later that evening, the detective and his wife do a family workout, trying to make another baby. The detective is later awakened by his mother-in-law. She tells him that he should help the goddess track down her lover. She adds that the lover is in a basement nearby, and that the man holding it in captivity has brain cancer. The detective learns that Mr. Baldy plans to capture the goddess and take the Stone of Immortality for himself. Half awake and confused, the detective sends his mother-in-law away and tells her to go back to sleep. While leaving, she tells him to find the lover snake at the abandoned mill by the crematorium, or she will be cremated tomorrow. The detective is left confused at her mention of this sudden cremation. Morning arrives, and Meyer enters the room crying. She tells her husband that her mother has passed away. The detective realizes that the woman who woke him up last night was his mother-in-law's ghost. Meanwhile, Mr. Baldy notices that the lover snake is not moving. He knocks violently on the glass cage, but the lover remains still. Nonetheless, he prepares for the goddess arrival. He opens the glass cage and collects a sample of the lover's excrement. Mr. Baldy heads upstairs, but accidentally leaves the glass cage open. The lover starts moving and hissing. This alerts the goddess of his location. Mr. Baldy finds the assistant and punches him. He then wipes the lover's poop on the assistant's face and tells him to run so as to attract the goddess' attention. Mr. Baldy drags him to the other henchman and points a gun at him. However, Mr. Baldy suddenly gets a headache and starts hearing voices in his head. In his hysteria, Mr. Baldy shoots one of his goons. This scares the assistant into running. Mr. Baldy orders the other men to clean up the body. The goddess catches the scent of the assistant and starts running toward him. 
Before Mr. Baldy can return to the basement, the lover escapes from his cage. Back at home, the detective comforts his morning wife. She tells him that her mother kissed her on the forehead just last night. He lights a candle at the goddess altar just like his mother-in-law. Remembering his mother-in-law's words, the detective heads to the abandoned mill with his partner. Meanwhile, the goddess finally finds Mr. Baldy's assistant. She smells him, but recognizes that it is not him who is torturing her lover. She leaves him alone, and proceeds to ambush the other men, who are busy burying the dead body. She sneaks into the basement, where she finds her weakened lover almost dead. She carries her lover to a corner. There, they meet each other, and enjoy an intimate moment between snake and woman. At the same time, Mr. Baldy sees his dead henchman upstairs and pukes. He puts on a special suit and night goggles, and enters the basement. The special suit hides his heat signature from the goddess, making him invisible in the dark. He also plays loud snake charming music to disorient her. He leads her into his net, by dragging her lover in front of her. He springs the trap, and the net is lifted into the air, capturing the goddess. He shoots her in the arm, forcing her to give him the stone of immortality. Simultaneously, the detective and his partner arrive at the mill. They hear the gunshot, and rush to the basement where they find Mr. Baldy and the goddess. Mr. Baldy quickly sees them, and shoots the partner in the abdomen. The detective shoots back, and hits Mr. Baldy in the shoulder. The detective approaches the goddess, but Mr. Baldy tries to hit him with a stick. He dodges, and hits Mr. Baldy on his bald head and his brain cancer. The partner recovers and restrains Mr. Baldy, while the detective frees the goddess. He lays her down on the floor, and covers her with some cloth. She starts crawling towards her lover, while the detective watches in wonder. When the detective is distracted, Mr. Baldy breaks free and shoots the partner. The detective comes to his senses, and starts punching Mr. Baldy. He rushes to his partner, but the partner only dies in his arms. Only a few meters away, the goddess lover likewise dies in her arms. Filled with rage, the detective brutally beats up Mr. Baldy. Before he can kill Mr. Baldy, the detective is stopped by the goddess, who transforms into her hybrid human snake form. The goddess picks Mr. Baldy up, and locks him inside the glass cage. The switch falls to the floor, activating the cage electricity. Unable to escape, Mr. Baldy is shocked to death with his brain cancer inside the cage. The detective watches as the goddess slithers out of the basement. Once later, Maya finally succeeds in giving birth to a baby. It turns out, the goddess has granted the wish of Maya's mother, to exchange her life from the survival of Maya's child. The goddess also has laid her eggs. She watches over them, while fondly remembering her lover. Suddenly, her eggs begin to hatch, and numerous baby cobras are born. All the while, Mr. Baldy's body is left to rot inside the glass cage, in the basement of the abandoned mill. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.